Welcome back to Bay Sunny, everyone. Our next guest is the program director of the Time for Kids Big Book of Science Experiments, an in-depth guide to over 100 household experiments. Time for Kids, also a weekly classroom news magazine that covers a wide range of real-world topics for kids, helping them in just about every academic you might imagine. The book will definitely help your child get an A on their next science report. It's kind of fun around the house, too. Here yeah. to talk about it a little more, Time for Kids, Big Book of Science Experiments is their program director, Aaron Green. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hey, welcome to Bay Sunday. Thank you. Well, what a great way to teach kids, you know. Absolutely. Uh, you know, showing them how to do something and having fun at the same time. Well, that is, uh, at Mad Science, that is our key, is to have fun while learning. And uh, Time for Kids uh, contacted us and said, hey, we would love to put out a book about science experiments for children and making it fun, hands-on, and easy to understand. So uh, they let us uh, check out this uh, book. It's uh, Time for Kids, Big Book of Science Experiments. Um, it has 192 pages. It uh, has over 100 experiments, all things that you can do at home with things that you find in your house. Yeah, and safe for kids uh, ages, what, you said about 8 through 12? 8 like through that? 12, uh, some minor explosions, but totally safe explosions so at home. So maybe mom and dad That's nearby, right. one of those kind of things? Yeah, so nothing using fire or anything like that. And but. you do everything like how, how to, what's the moldiest to, uh, you know, paper clips, magnetic, should we jump Talk in? About, sure, absolutely. So one of the things that, uh, Time for Kids is a magazine that um, does, uh, sets out weekly magazines for kids and it's kind of concentrates on on um, current and historical events. And what we, we did with uh, our science experiments is we took some simple science experiments and then we can kind of relate it to things that happened in the past and for the future. Oh, wow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, a magnet. And everyone knows that magnets, well, stick to other things, metals and other magnets. And uh, one way to create a magnet is setting uh, electrons through a copper coil. Now, um, a copper coil by itself is not a magnet, of course. Uh, even if we were to attach it to a battery and send electrons through it, it doesn't make an effective magnet, not really touching or, or picking up anything. Okay. So, um, we need something else. We need some sort of core. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, core of a bolt here and then try to put it inside and be able to Oh, show wow, that we that. can create a stronger magnetic field, okay? Um, now, the great thing about this uh, experiment as well is that um, in the book, it gives you tons of examples on how to make it different. Children are naturally inquisitive, and so they want to say, what happens if I use a bigger, a bigger bolt? bolt? That's right, <laughs> okay? So if we use a bigger bolt, are we going to have a different experiment? Can we have different amounts of paper clips that are being picked up? And the answer Does that is? Yes. yes, okay, so, of course. so that's a really great. Um, now this, this idea of electromagnets um, are used right now in like junkyards and so on and so forth to try to pick up uh, and sort uh, different types of metals and so on and so forth where they can turn on the magnet and then they can turn, turn it off, off okay? Bad. Sure. Also electromagnets um, have been used for years in creating a simple motor. Now this idea of using electromagnet um, to make a motor was devised uh, early 1900s. This is the St. Louis motor, which is going to use electromagnet to repel. This way, I have electromagnet and another magnet, and they're going to repel away from each other. Oh, wow. Now, this technology is being used now in, let's say, Japan, where you hear about the magnetic levitation trains. They use electromagnets to lift the trains off the track and actually propel them forward. Okay, which saves energy. And the response from kids when you do these sorts of things. Oh, they go crazy, they go right? Crazy. And of course, you want to try, everyone wants to try. Absolutely. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go with a little bit of that energy and talk about some kinetic and potential energy. Now, we've learned in school that energy is never wasted. It's just changing. Right. And energy is, or kinetic energy or moving energy is really kind of cool because uh, that's what we're doing, right? We're constantly moving around, okay? We can move a book, we can use move an object, but we don't think about that when we take our this energy, we can transfer that energy and change it to stored energy. So if I were to pull down on the spoon and change, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Maybe, you know what, maybe we should protect ourselves. Maybe always protect ourselves when we're uh, 
doing some science experiments. Yeah, these ping pong balls are brutal, man. Dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> so what we can do is we can try to pull down on the spoon. Now that energy is potential energy. It has the potential to move and then we can release it and it can create kinetic energy. Also uh, other ideas inside the book it will tell you that well, maybe we should try it with uh, something different underneath. Maybe if we have a marker underneath which will change the angle, the more energy that we exert, the more potential energy right. and the further it should go. We're dropping ping pong balls well, all over sadly, the place. Well, sadly, we're running out of time, but the book is only at Toys R Us, right? Is uh, that no, correct? Or is no, it negative, all over negative, negative, negative. negative. You, can find, wow. you can find it at uh, timeforkids.com slash science. Right. Um, and uh, for the nearest mad science provider, madscience.org, and we're all over the country, all over the world. Good point. We've actually got a toy that's only at Toys R Us. That's ah. coming up next. We're having some fun. Aaron, so thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Good luck with it. Thank and if you, you so uh, much. If you'd like to pick up a copy of the book online at your local bookstores, not just at Toys R Us, by golly. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. we got more Bay Sunday. we got a toy that you're going to love. It's coming up next. Stay right there. Sorry about that.